As February went on, the winter storms continued in Alberta. Our weather is inconsistent and unpredictable, making it extremely dangerous. In between trips, I've been putting a solar-powered battery maintainer on my snowmobile. This should keep the battery from freezing again. Our weather is tough on everything, and my double bit axe has taken quite the beating. It is now dull and rusted, and needs a good sharpening. When I restored it, I never imagined it would be mainly used for chopping through ice and snow. My chainsaw hasn't been used as much as I pictured either. Maybe it's because I've managed for so long with basic hand tools. The equipment I bring along on these trips are tools, not toys. They are there only to be used when I need them. Today is our last day of decent weather before we enter into another cold snap, and I want to get a few chores done at my winter camp. I just made it out to my trail cam. I'm gonna have a quick look, see if I got anything, and decide whether I should keep it in this location or move it. I know I keep thinking I should move this thing, but I always run out of time. So let's see what's on it. Trail cam is reset. If I have time, I will move it. On my last trip to winter camp, I was trying to take down this tree. And as you can see, it came down a little bit more, but it's still hung up on the top. I got a couple of options to get this thing down. It's still pretty dangerous though. Well, my camera shut off, but what I did is I just used the back of my axe and hammered it until the, the tree slid off the stump, came crashing down, but it's still stuck. I've encountered many stubborn trees in my day, and a thick overgrown forest doesn't leave much room for error when felling in tight areas. This tree does not want to come down. If it would have fell just about two or three feet to the right, it would have been okay. And I do have another way to get this tree down using a chainsaw. But I'm not really a fan of that method, it's pretty dangerous. I've been going around marking trees to harvest for firewood. This one's about 18 inches in diameter and about 100 feet tall. It's a bit too windy right at the moment to be cutting this down with the chainsaw. So if the wind dies down, I'll give it a shot.
I managed to find my earthen oven, so I'm going to get a fire going, get lunch started, and hopefully this wind will die down. You can see this big pile of kindling I collected in early October. Sure paying off now, especially on days like today. So I'm basically waiting for this fire to die down to a nice bed of coals. I got my chicken in this cast iron pot and this doubles as a Dutch oven. You can unscrew the handle, put it right in the oven, and this lid, you can turn it upside down so it's concave and put coals on the top. I got my pot buried in the coals and I can tell that the temperature is a little too cool. I actually have a thermometer at home but I forgot to bring it. So I was going to build a very small fire on top. My coal bed cooled off too much so I had to rebuild the fire. I got my chainsaw warming up. See if that'll start in a little while. That chainsaw just does not like the cold. I spend more time trying to start it than I do using it. And it's really hard to be productive, but it's the only thing I have. As soon as you shut this thing off, it's such a pain to start again.
So after I cooked my chicken, I made some noodles in the same pot and I threw little pieces of chicken inside with the noodles. Really good. I'm all packed up and almost ready to go. I brought up my chaps, chainsaw, backpack. It's quite a bit to carry. And I had a pretty good day at camp. I never quite got everything done I wanted to. But you're always fighting the weather, the terrain, the conditions. You never get everything done that you want to. I brought out my medicinal bomb that I made a couple weeks ago. My hands take quite the beating out here. Always getting scratched up, dry, cracked. I just love this stuff. Just made it back to my trail cam. I'm running out of time again, so I just got some of this oatmeal. I'm gonna spread it around, try and bait some animals.